Hi there, it's Mike Thornton from Production Expert, and in this demo video, I'm going to show you some of the highlights from the brand new RX-7 from Isotope. If you want to know what I think about RX-7 and RX-7 Advanced, then you'll need to go to Pro Tools Expert and read the full story there, including my verdict. There'll be a link in the notes below. Let's get straight to it and start with the Repair Assistant, which is a new feature in both RX-7 Standard and RX-7 Advanced. All you need to do is to select the problem audio in RX-7 and click on the Repair Assistant button up here. And RX will ask you what type of material it is. In this case, it's dialogue, so I'm just going to click the Start Analysis button. The RX-7 Repair Assistant then goes through analysing the audio file for the common issues like clicks, hum, clipping and noise. And when it's done, it presents you with players for the original and three possible solutions. You can see that by hovering over each of the players, we can see what the processing chain is for each of them. Then we can click on the player to audition each option. You know, it takes you away from the people that you love, like... You know, takes you away from the people that you love, like... You know, takes you away from the people that you love, like... We can then click on this little fader icon to be able to adjust the intensity of the processing with an option for less processing, a middle ground, and an option for more processing. And again, you can then audition that processing. You know, takes you away from the people that you love. Once you've selected the best option, you can then either click the render button to process the file with that option, or click on the open as module chain. And this allows you to actually inspect the settings and to fine tweak them to suit before rendering it out. The next new feature we're going to take a look at is also in both RX-7 Standard and RX-7 Advanced, and that is music rebalance. Have you ever wanted to be able to adjust the balance of a mix, but couldn't because you don't have access to the stems? Well, now, thanks to more of Isotope's machine learning technology, you can. The music rebalance module splits the audio up into speech, bass, percussion, and other, which effectively is everything else. Here's a spoof ad that I made as part of my loudness training resources. Kill the loudness wars now. Whether it's adverts, announcers, or mumbling actors that get people complaining. Buy yourself a loudness meter and stop the complaints dead. Let's see what happens when we drop the speech by around 10 dBs. And then we use preview. Kill the loudness wars now. Whether it's adverts, announcers, or mumbling actors that get people complaining. Buy yourself a loudness meter and stop the complaints dead. And what iStope has also done is to provide us with real-time auditioning for these machine learning modules, albeit at a reduced quality, but it does make it so much easier to find the best settings. But perhaps in this case, maybe the speech was too quiet. Well, we can do the same thing. We can push up the speech. Take a listen. Kill the loudness wars now. Whether it's adverts, announcers, or mumbling actors that get people complaining. Buy yourself a loudness meter and stop the complaints dead. It's just like I'd push the speech track in the Pro Tools mix, except I'm not. I'm doing it after the event. But what I have found is in the short time I've had with RX-7, there are limits to how far you can push this. Let's move on to the first of the new features in RX-7 Advanced, Dialog D-Reverb. We've had a D-Reverb module in RX for quite a while now, but Isotope has taken their machine learning technology and applied it to D-Reverbing Dialog. Here's a recording made in a reverberant church. Christopher Wren was charged with the design of a new cathedral that was to be handsome and noble to all the ends of it, and the reputation of the city and the nation. The result, the present St. Paul's Cathedral, 
Still the second largest church in Britain, and with the dome proclaimed as the finest in the world. So let's see what we can do with this. Christopher Wren was charged with the design of a new cathedral that was to be handsome and noble to all the ends of it and to the reputation of the city and the nation. The result? The present St Paul's Cathedral. Still, well, I have to say that's pretty good. Let's see what happens when we push it a little harder. And remember, we're just listening to the reduced policy preview version. The design of a new cathedral that was to be handsome and noble to all the ends of it and the reputation of the city and the nation. The results? Well, I think you'll agree that we're starting to hear some artefacts. But as I say, remember that this is the lower quality preview. Let's render it and then see how that sounds. Christopher Wren was charged with the design of a new cathedral that was to be handsome and noble to all the ends of it and the reputation of the city. And as you can hear, that's much better than the lower quality preview. In RX7 Advanced, Isotope's also been able to take some of those machine learning modules and turn them into plugins. Let's take a quick look at Dialog Isolate. Remember this clip from Nam? Hey, it's Russ here at Nam 2012. I'm back with Bobby Lombardi. Bobby, some people don't know that you. Have, now you have, I can process it using the Dialog Isolate plugin. No audition, unfortunately, but let's see what these settings can do. Hey, it's Russ here at Nam 2012. I'm back with Bobby Lombardi. Bobby, some people don't know that you were that you were one of the people behind Eleven Rack and all of that kind of stuff. Are you a, a closet rocker? And tell us all about how that all happened. Another RX module that's now available as a plugin with RX7 Advanced is D Russell. Remember this clip. So this is trying out the D Russell. This is a, a Bayer tie clip mic and now processed with these settings. So this is trying out the D Russell. This is a, a Bayer tie clip mic. That's so much quicker than the round trip out to the standalone version of RX, process it and back. Now we can do it all within Pro Tools. Back in the standalone version of RX7 Advanced, and another new module is the Dialog Contour module, which has been designed to be able to change the intonation of speech. Have you ever done a dialogue edit that works on paper, but because of the intonation in the delivery, it won't work? Or perhaps you've had someone read with absolutely no character a very flat wooden read like this one. This is to test the new intonation feature in Isotope RX7 to see whether I can put some life into this flat delivery. By being able to use these anchors, I've been able to adjust the pitch above and below to hopefully introduce a little bit of character into this clip. This is to test the new intonation feature in Isotope RX7 to see whether I can put some life into this flat delivery. And as you can see that I've been able to put some rise and fall into what was a very monotone delivery. But again, in the short time I've had RX7 advanced, there are, as with most audio restoration products, there are limits to how far you can go. And lastly, I want to finish where we started, because at last we have multi-channel support in Isotope RX7 Advanced. So here is the 5.1 surround test tones, which of course you will hear down mixed. And you can audition individual channels So we can have the center channel. And with this new multi-channel support, you can monitor up to 7.1.2 through the updated RX7 monitor plugin straight into Pro Tools. And there you have it. 
There's lots more about RX-7 and RX-7 Advanced in the article on the main site, including all the lowdown about what I think about the new features in RX-7 and RX-7 Advanced. And you'll find the link in the notes below. Check it out. See you again soon.